Hello and welcome to a quick Couchbase screencast where we'll take a look at channels in Couchbase and Gateway and more specifically how to use the public channel and add security to user channels. So the example in mind here is a note taking application where you might want to synchronize some documents before the user has logged in and maybe because it's part of the onboarding journey of the app and you want to synchronize those documents. So before we write the sync function and see how, how it uh, handles those two different scenarios, let's have a look at the config file I have here so far. The database is called notes and it's persisting in Walrus, which is an in-memory uh, database very handy for development. And then we specify the guest user, which is a built-in user that represents all the users that are not logged into your app. So there's no way to identify them. That's why it's all grouped as guest and one user named William and another user named admin that we'll use specifically for admin tasks. And with that in mind, let's switch to sync.js where I have the basic JSON objects of the different documents we're going to have to work with. And the sync function signature takes a current revision and the previous revision of that document. And a good way to actually handle the different uh, JSON objects is to use a switch statement. And in this case, we're going to use the security field. And if the security field is set to public, then we first want to check that the require, so the user currently making that write operation is in fact the admin user. And then we want to write it to the public channel, which guest users have access to. And finally, we want to break out of that switch. For other cases, Oops. We want to check that the it's so it's the user notes. So the we want to check that the user logged in is the same as what's specified in the username field. And if it is, then we'll route it to a channel named after the document ID, which is generated by Sync Gateway in this case. And then we provide well, so we grant the user access to that channel. And with that, we can now copy over our sync function to the config file and head over to the Couchbase downloads page to grab the version of Sync Gateway for your platform. So once you unzip that uh, folder, you'll find that there is a bin directory and inside of it there's the sync gateway executable and we need to provide it the config file we just wrote so in my case it's in a in my project and that's uh, sync gateway running and now we can open the admin ui which has the database and a few tabs here for example the different channels to test that the application or the sync function is running as expected we'll send a few requests so it's going to be going to the notes database and this one returns wrong user because we are not logged in and we're trying to send a document over as a write operation, which is failing because the require user is returning false. We're not currently logged in as admin. To work around that, what we'll do is we'll instead make that request on port 4985, which is the admin port. And this returns true and then that channel is created with that document. The second scenario is where we're logging in as a user. And in that case, we're using the user port with the session endpoint and providing a name and password. And in the response, we have then a sync gateway session that we can subsequently use when we uh, persist a user note. And this time I use it in the header and I provide the different JSON object. And that's going to map it to its own channel and give that user access to it. And in the channels tab, I now see the guest as well, uh, sorry, the public channel as well as the uh, user channel, which has that document. Similarly, if I head to the users tab, I can see that William has access to the public channel as well as his own note. And that's it for today. Have fun writing your own sync functions and see you soon.